and welcome to Finextra. I'm Thea George and I'm here with Adam Raw from Lloyd's Banking Group. We're at Cybos 2016 in Geneva and we're talking about innovation in transaction banking. Adam, thank you for joining me. Thank you. So what would you call out as the key drivers for change in transaction banking right now? For me, it's simply uncertainty. You know, there's uncertainty all around us. If, if I look at the reg landscape, we, on a European basis, we're looking at the implementation of PSD2. And more locally, in the UK for us, We've got regulatory change like ring fencing and the outcome of a market reviews that our economic regulator put in place at the end of uh, during the summer. Secondly, if, if I think about the political landscape, you know, clearly the UK is picking through the outcome of the EU referendum uh, and the world's turning towards um, what's, what's going to be the outcome of the US presidential elections at the end of the year. And, and thirdly and finally, tech change. You know, we've heard a lot about that over the last 48 hours. Um, for me, it's about how do banks respond to the efficiencies that new entrants are, are bringing and also uh, look at new access models to the payment schemes that we're part of uh, locally. So how do you think these changes are impacting customer behaviour? The basic fundamental need of our customers hasn't changed. You know, they still need cash flow financing. You know, they still need access to basic payments, trade finance. They need to borrow against their assets. What they're looking for from us is a, a, a path through that uncertainty and we're out there talking to our customers about, about these changes regularly and we're doing it with our institutional clients this week and back in the UK with our, our commercial and corporate clients. Um, the group, you know, a number of years ago set a very simple strategy which is helping Britain prosper and, and we've been executing on that since and that's worked with our clients. Our clients understand it, they like it and we believe it's a differentiator for us in the market today. So how do you think banks need to be responding to these changes and, and are your focus areas for innovation matching up to the changes that you've described? So for us it's all about listening to our customers. You know, we need to understand their um, needs, their worries and, and make sure that we're forming appropriate responses to that. So, so what we, in, our, in our transaction bank what we've focused on over the last 12 months is bringing much more speed and agility to the way that we can bring products to market. The way we've done that is build cross-functional teams that come together around an idea and we're now in a place that we're able to take new products and propositions to market in six to eight weeks. And that's getting ourselves into a place where uh, we put a proof of concept in front of a customer, work with them, get their feedback and understand if it's delivering value for the customer. And if it is, we take it into a scaled format and, and we're finding that works. A, a great example of that is uh, us opening up um, the immediate payments network in the UK, Faster Payments, for, for cross-border. And we're talking to a number of customers this week about a service that we're launching that, that enables that. And we, and we, we develop that through those cross-functional teams. And that's from digital to the product managers to our, our colleagues in, in operations. And our customers are responding to that. And that's how we believe uh, we help them through uncertainty. Adam, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching.